Hey, my name's Chris, and I built the bookshelves you see on the tops on both sides of me. The bottom was pre-existing, so I built the top parts to match the bottom. Forgot to do a before shot, so if I find a picture, you'll see it while I'm talking. Otherwise, you'll just have to imagine it without the bookshelves there. <laughs> but uh, anyway, if you want to see how I did this, then uh, stick around. Uh, just to let you know, I've never built bookshelves or book built-ins before or crown molding or anything like that. So this is my first time. Please go easy on me if you've done this before. If you have any advice, uh, please share it in the comments below. Let's go. This is everything I've bought so far. Uh, one sheet of plywood and I had them cut it down to 12 inches wide uh, in four different strips at the store. I got a 16 foot long piece of crown molding that, that I cut in half. And then I got two uh, one by eight by eight foot select pines, the kind of the pine without the uh, the knots in it. So my table saw sled is out of square pretty bad. I don't want these to be out of square. So I'm gonna use my circular saw and cut everything down to length. And then once everything's smaller and easier to manage, then I'll cut everything down to width on the table saw itself. I need four pieces of 42 inches. So I'm gonna cut them all just a tad bit over 42 inches. And then uh, I'll tape them together, make one final cut all at the same time at 42 even. All right, I've got all the pieces cut to width and to length. These are the sides and these are gonna be the tops and the bottoms. So right now, before I Put everything together I want to drill some shelf pin holes for the uh, shelves to sit on and I'm gonna do that with the Craig shelf pin jig which I bought just for this purpose so let's get started I do know that I want the holes to start about six inches from the top and I'll draw some lines here across every both side pieces so of course this is, the, say the left side, this is the right side. I want the holes to be straight all the way across. And just to make sure I got the jig started at the right spot, I'm going to clamp down this level here to make sure that I start at the same spot. This thing comes with a, uh, an indexing pin, so to continue down, put that through there. Then in the hole, clamp it, and then keep going down all the way. So I'm going to just continue with this all the way down on both sets of sides, and then I'll be done. All right, so all the shelf pins or shelf pin holes are cut. So this is one of the sides here. The table's not really quite big enough to put all four pieces, so I'm going to have to do just two at a time. So this is one of the. This is going to be the bottom. So what I'm going to do is just line this up here. And I'm going to use uh, wood glue and screws and just attach these two together. Then I'll make my way around until I've got a box, essentially. All right, well, that's the first one. Got one more left. And I can start making the face frame. All right, I've got the boxes built for both sets of uh, shelves, and now I'm gonna make the face frames out of the select pine. And I'm gonna make it to match the uh, face frames that are already existing on the lower shelves.
All right, so both cabinets are painted. There's one, I got the other one laying with the face down on top of the table with a blanket so I don't mar the, the face frame. Uh, so now what I've got to do is attach the B board to the back. I did have it cut down a little bit at the home store just so I could transport it. So I'll have to just kind of draw a line and trim it off with the circular saw to get it to the right size. All right, so now I need just this little small piece that connects on this side. So I'm gonna use the, another piece. And the way you buy them, I guess, is a, the factory edge. One side joins with another piece, so it lines up. All right, the B board's done. I've brought them inside the cabinets. Now I'm ready to put them on top of the pre-existing cabinets. All right, so this one is kind of not exact. If I pull down on the bottom, it moves away from the top of the wall. What up? This it's uh, flush this way and this way, so I just cut a little shim to put underneath there. And then I'm gonna use some L brackets to attach it or support it and keep it against the wall. I don't know if that's what I'm supposed to do, but that's what I'm gonna do. Here's the L brackets. I just had enough room to fit. And the other one, I couldn't put it on the back because there's a good gap right here and the screw would have gone down into the wood, so I moved it to the side. Which will, I had to put an anchor, a drywall anchor in here because there was no stud, but I think it'll be all right. Also, I had to drill a couple of holes for uh, cords to pass through. All right, these are the bottom shelves and I made the top to match, I tried to match exactly uh, this which was pre-existing in the house so it came with some adjustable shelves several of them we have like four left over we took a couple out but the old shelf the shelf that came with it don't quite fit up top because i made i made the one up top to be not quite as deep but one of the shelves broke and this back piece came off and that fits up there so i'm going to use the old shelves instead of having to make new ones and i but i do have to trim a hair off the end because it's just a tad bit too wide somehow even though I measured exactly. Alright this piece right here needs to come off so I'm just going to try to hammer it off and see if that works. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Break it down. That was easy. And obviously the bottoms are gonna have to be repainted. They look pretty nasty, so I'm gonna go ahead and hit them with some sandpaper just to uh, clean it up a little bit. Right, now I'm going to go ahead and try to put the crown molding on. I've never done crown molding, so I really don't know what I'm doing. I'm just going to do the best I can. I'm cutting the left component now, so I've got the blade tilt, uh, turned to 45 degrees to the left. I've got the molding upside down. I've got my mark here. I'm just going to sneak up on it. Cut it a little bit long and then just take my time and do a little bit at a time until I get there. I should uh, plug the saw in first. <laughs> Alright, my wife painted them. I'm going to go ahead and tack them on up top. I've never done this before. You're, you're seeing the first time ever. So, I hope it works. I'm just using some 18 gauge uh, one inch nails because that's basically about all I got. I know I want it to be at the top of that line right there. I guess that's right. It looks pretty good, I suppose. All right, I cut some more molding and my wife painted it and it's the molding that's gonna go 
against to cover up kind of all the cracks where the and, uh, screw heads because I found out that the house is not level as I mentioned before so there's cracks here and there where the wall doesn't meet up with the bookcase so I'm gonna go ahead and use my brad nailer and attach this All right, so there you go. Uh, really, the only thing I have left to do is to cover up all the nail holes, sand them back, paint over them, and I need a little bit of caulk to fill in some little gaps here and there, like in the crown molding in the corner, uh, where they don't quite join together all the way, but, you know, it was my first time, so I could only get better from here. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Stick around. Uh, I've got plenty of other videos for you to watch. See you later.